narcissistic individuals enjoy a good lie or a good million lies. Narcissists use lies in various stages of the relationship and they will lie to you during the discard stage of the relationship. Narcissists often tell their lies to further manipulate their victims and maintain control. There are lots of different lies that a narcissist will tell you during the discard and this video is just a few of them. Narcissistic individuals can simply turn around and claim you'll never find someone like me. Narcissists say this to make their partner feel as though they're losing something irreplaceable. They deliver it with confidence and that sense of superiority, making it seem as though the narcissist is a rare breed, an invaluable person. And this lie preys on the victim's fear that the narcissist has planted within them of being alone and convinces them that the narcissist is unique and special. You'll never be happy without me. This lie is designed to create that codependency as narcissistic individuals make their partners believe that their happiness is tied to the relationship with the narcissist. They say it with such a sense of certainty that it reinforces the idea in the person that they're discarding that their life would fall apart without the narcissist in it. No one else will ever put up with you. Narcissistic individuals will often convince people that they're difficult to deal with or they're unlovable, that their victim is difficult to deal with and unlovable, implying that no one else would ever tolerate them like the narcissist is willing to. This is used to shatter their victim's self-esteem, making them feel like they're lucky that the narcissist has stuck around for as long as they have. You'll regret leaving me. This plants the idea that the partner will miss and eventually want them back and with the trauma bond this can happen. It's also a subtle threat and it can be said with a kind of smugness because the narcissist believes you will come crawling back and if you don't they will harass you to the point where you feel like you've got no choice but to go back. So they make the victim feel like it was a huge mistake to let the narcissist go. I was the best thing that ever happened to you. Narcissists inflate their sense of self-importance, making others believe that no one else will ever treat them as well as the narcissist did. And in the love bombing or the intermittent reinforcement, a narcissist can treat you incredibly well. Narcissists speak with that self-assuredness and they exaggerate the good, th the good things that they did during the relationship and gloss over, downplay, dismiss, the abuse and the manipulation. You'll never find someone who loves you like I do. Narcissistic individuals weaponize anything they can, including the concept of love. They will suggest that their unique brand of love, which is manipulation, is irreplaceable. That they deliver this lie with such intensity, it's almost believable. Narcissists deliver this lie like they are the only one that is capable of loving you in the right way, despite their emotional abuse of you. Narcissists can turn around and they genuinely believe this and they can turn around and say, I'm the best you'll ever have. Narcissists claim to be the ultimate partner and they convince themselves, which is why they make it easy to, why it's so easy for a narcissist to convince others that the victim will never find someone as good as the narcissist. They say it with that sense of arrogance that comes across as confidence, reinforcing the narcissist's inflated sense of superiority while diminishing the victim's self-worth. They can just turn around and say, nobody else would ever put up with you like I do. A classic narcissistic lie used to undermine their partner's self-esteem while keeping them dependent on the narcissistic individual. The narcissist delivers this statement with such conviction that the victim begins to believe that they are flawed or 
too difficult to be loved by anyone else. If only you would have paid me more attention. Narcissists will neglect their partners, yet they deflect from this by accusing their partner of the neglect to shift the blame for any problems within the relationship, even if their partner was attentive even if their child was attentive, even if their parents was attentive, their friend was attentive, they will claim that whatever attention you give for them is never enough for them because narcissists are seeking that excessive attention. They deliver this lie with disappointment or frustration, making their victim feel guilty for not meeting the narcissist's never ending needs. They will accuse you of being crazy because a narcissist will go all out to drive you crazy and then walk away and blame you for being the issue. These lies play on their victims' insecurities, making them feel like they're unworthy of love, kindness or respect. By convincing their victim that they were lucky to have the narcissist, that they weren't enough, that it was their victim's fault, the narcissist goes all out to gain control over the relationship and the victim often stays or returns feeling that no one else would ever have them. These lies are often told with a mix of charm, arrogance and certainty, leaving the victim feeling trapped and questioning their ability to move on from a narcissist.